Hey everyone and welcome to call number one of the Southern Romantics New Consultant Training Webinars. It is Sunday, April 10th, 2016 and we are starting all over from the very beginning. So call number one, um, it's basically a lot of information, uh, just baby steps that you can use to go ahead and get your business started. So some of the first steps you should take. So I'm excited we have some new girls on the call. I'm excited we've got, hey Jessica, um, we've got some of my longer term consultants and we will hopefully get everybody's questions answered. So first off, welcome you, obviously. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our team. We're so excited to have you. We have our team meeting for the month tomorrow night. So I hope if you're within a hundred mile radius, you can make it. And if you can't, we're gonna try to figure out how to get some zooming but I know that we will eventually run out of time but if you're close I hope we get to see your faces in person um, and congratulations on starting your pure romance business so I'm so excited you guys have taken this leap to join our crazy team and I will do my best to help answer any questions um, the purpose of these webinars are to complement the training you're receiving in party school and to help guide you through some deeper questions that aren't answered in party school some of the kind of real life aspects of your business that you don't maybe don't know that you're gonna have to start touching soon so that's why we break it up into eight calls over the next two months um, so every Sunday night at 9 join me here and we will kind of break this off in bite-sized chunks we are recording these so you can um, check them out on our YouTube or if you want to go back to previous versions and kind of read ahead um, then you're welcome to go back and watch the YouTube videos of the previous ones so the first thing I want to walk you guys through is your rewards and incentives guide. Everyone should have received this in their kit. Um, if you didn't for any reason or if you've misplaced it, you can download it on the COO as a PDF version. And there's also a much longer version on the COO with like all the rules. And it's up to you guys to make sure you read that one with all the rules because that's where you're going to have you know, a lot of really good information, even though it's boring legalese, it's gonna answer a lot of good questions that you might have and help walk you through some of the more specific items um, that I might just kind of forget that people don't know yet, so. The rewards and incentives guide for your first 60 days, we want to kind of start training you to work towards your fast track. So hopefully you guys have read this, it's super fun. Lots of visuals, so it's not as many words. Um, so this fast track bonus, you can find more information on page 12, but it's right down here. So basically with the fast track program, if you do $1,000 in sales within your first 60 days, you're going to receive a really awesome pure romance necklace with, excuse me, your next regular order that comes in. So if you're motivated by bling and jewelry, this is right for you. If you're not really motivated by bling and jewelry, just think of it as a really good marketing opportunity. So when you're wearing your Pure Romance necklace, um, if people comment on it or ask about it, then it's an intro for you to talk about the business. So I think it's pretty cool. All you gotta do is $1,000 in sales in your first 60 days, and that's maybe an average of three to four parties when you're just starting out. So that's what we're training you towards anyway. So hopefully everybody will get that. Um, if you um, add a new team member who activates to your downline and you start growing your team, you're going to receive a Pure Romance pin. And that, again, is a great marketing tool. You can keep it on the lapel of your blazer, um, just wear it out and about. But again, a great way to kind of talk about your business and a great way, I think, especially for new consultants to start getting rewarded right off the bat about um, just for working their business. There Sheila is. Hello, dear. Um, so I would love for you guys, if you're still within your first 60 days of business, to make your fast track program a priority to try to meet because that is really just going to help you start set the pace for your business. So a thousand dollars in 60 days, it might sound like a lot, especially when you're brand spanking new and first starting, but for consultants who do this on a routine basis, um, my steady consultants apps easy peasy. You should be doing $1,000 a month typically as long as you're actively working your business. Um, other opportunities that are amazing, I'm not sure if it's in here. I hope it is. Um, but the Inventory Advantage Program. If it's not in here, you guys can definitely check out on our team Facebook page because I post stuff about that all the time. Yeah, I don't see it in here, but it's awesome. So basically, 
Is that in there? Is in their first page? Am I just completely ignoring it? Cool. I'm the worst. Wait, hold on. Yeah, there it is. See, it looks so different this year. So thanks, Christy. I appreciate it. You're amazing. So this is the Inventory Advantage Program. And basically, as soon as you enter three parties into the COO, and I'll teach you how to do that if you don't know how to do it already. Um, as soon as you get three parties entered, they don't have to hold. You don't have to have them yet. You just have to say, I'm having three parties. Put them into the COO, and you're going to get this generated, automatically generated email from corporate that says, hey, here's $1,000 worth of inventory that we're going to give you for half price because we think you're pretty cool. Um, and it's amazing. So if you go back on the team page, you can read all the stats about how people and consultants who carry inventory do significantly better in their business than people who don't. And it's not, it's a personal choice whether you carry inventory or not. I know a lot of women first getting into the business, they need to focus on paying their bills and not reinvesting money right away. Um, but if you have some extra cash, you need to always make sure you're replenishing your inventory. Um, and there's different ways that we'll talk about how you can save a little bit more or start building your inventory layer by layer. But Qualifying for this inventory advantage program is amazing because basically you're getting it for a 50% buying discount, which is great, especially if you're only at a 40% right now. Um, so it's fan freaking fantastic. And the three parties that you have to enter, those are pretty much already set up when you get in the business. So you're first going to have a pop the box and then you're going to have two launch parties. So those are your three parties. And as soon as you get those entered in the COO, you have um, this email that arrives, and I believe you have two weeks to decide whether you are going to take advantage of the inventory credit program, to which I would say, yes, please do. Oh my gosh. Even if you're wanting to upgrade your products that come in it, especially right out of the gate, that's totally fine because these are items that are going to make you money. It's products that come pre-selected that are already in your starter kit. So it's stuff that you're already familiar with. It's not going to be anything like right out of the bat that's scary and you're not like, ah, how do I, what is this, what? Um, but it's definitely gonna set you up and give you inventory to sell at those first three parties and people will be really excited to take their stuff home. So people, uh, consultants who carry inventory tend to have higher sales at their parties because people are impulse buyers, right? Because they're gonna buy stuff just because you have it there that night. If you, you know, if they want three things and you only have two, they're only gonna buy the two things that you have. So if you want more money, <laughs> carry the inventory so they can take all their goodies home. Um, the next thing I want to share with you guys is our team handbook. So hopefully everybody received this with your welcome email from me, whether you're my first line or my grandbabies. I try to send you guys all a welcome email when you first join our team, probably within like the first day or two. Um, and let me figure out how to get the screen share. I was telling my husband with um, allergy season in full effect. I'm definitely noting that my eyes are getting a little drier because of the Claritin stuff. I'm like, that's why I'm not making face of that you. Um, all right. We're going to hope and pray that my computer doesn't freeze tonight because ain't nobody got time for that. Awesome. Nope, not this page. Stop sharing. <laughs> Hold on. Share handbook. That's my cheat sheet. Here we go. This is what you guys want. So this is just a Word document. It's 16 pages long. Um, in the email that you received, I'm encouraging you to print this out because in addition to this and the incentives or the requirements guide that have all the rules and is really boring, uh, this page right here, this handbook, that's our team handbook, that tells you all the fun stuff that awaits you for being a Southern romantic. So thanks for being one of our team members. Um, in this, I, right now, I celebrate my first line. Um, so most of the awards and stuff are going to be for my first line only. So if you're one of my grandbabies, that's totally fine because I've already told your sponsor that they should be replicating this in some way, shape, or form that fits their budget. When I first started, any of my incentives that I gave were, you know, super duper basic. Um, and if you are a sponsor of a team member and you're like, oh my God, where do I even get started? We will have a one-on-one -on -one and you and I will talk about finding things that motivate your team and different ways to reward them for jobs well done. So this just basically kind of sets up our team, tells you what it's all about, what I expect from you, what you should expect of me. Um, we have a 
sisterhood and we're based on honesty and open communication. So if you feel that I'm slacking, please call me out on it. If I feel that you're slacking, um, I'm probably gonna call you out on it. So open communication is key within our team. This is how I talk to people, like different ways that I communicate. Obviously our Facebook page is gonna be huge for that because um, we can all have access to that and it's pretty direct. New consultant training, that's what we're doing right now. So this is just one of the many little wheels that we have spinning to help you as a new consultant get trained in your business. Remember, all training is optional, but if you want to be in business and if you want to do well, these will be really good for you to take advantage of. Um, where do you start? The information that comes in your kit is obviously a great place to start or else I wouldn't have put it in there. Party school, you should definitely complete that first level, that orientation and even that consultant 101 before you host your first party. There's a party shadow opportunity on party school. You should always plan to attend our monthly team meetings. If you are not in a hundred mile radius and we're not able to Zoom you, if you want me to help you find one that's closer to you, you're more than welcome to attend another team's meeting. And that is totally fine because our meetings are open to guests as well. Um, but we know, and you'll always hear me say, seriously, you guys can make this a drinking game, that when you show up, you go up. So when you come to meetings and you come to events and you attend trainings, that's how you're going to rise in your business. These weekly new consultant webinars, hey, that's a great way to start. So congratulations, everyone pat yourself on the back. Mission Possible, I send these to my first line, um, but anyone who is a sponsor on our team has these texts where they can send them to you. Um, and those are tiny bite-sized challenges for you to do just to kind of help get your business up and running. The next boot camp will be in May. So if you're able to come to that, it'll be a, an afternoon on a Sunday and that will be great information on booking parties. And then if you're in the business more than three months, we also have a sponsoring boot camp, but we definitely want you headed to that booking boot camp first. And then we've got corporate conference calls, which are referenced in the addendum. Here's the fast track program again. Um, monthly goal setting is huge. This kind of runs down our team goals and our history. So you'll see in past years what we've done as a team and then what we're looking to do this year. So definitely if you haven't read that, please do. This is more information on our team meetings and this is where we're gonna talk about awards and bonuses. So if you wanna know how you get recognized or how you can walk the stage or when you get anything from me, this is where it lives, so check that out. Um, so I give awards for any time you promote, um, any time you kick ass with your performance, um, and you're actually doing what you're supposed to do. Of course I'm gonna recognize you for it, because I'd be silly not to. And then we have, um, these are the awards that we've given out previously in our yearly awards banquet that's usually held in January for the previous year. And then we've got date nights that we talked about. These are always subject to change. Um, and team bonuses, um, we just finished our first quarter time frame, um, and this is pretty exciting. So we're doing a paint and wine on the 17th, and the contest that we're currently working for is a pole dancing class. Um, and basically, this is a team date night on speed because I'm paying for four people to go. All the other date nights are Dutch, but I'm paying for four people to go. So if you wanna go pole dance and you don't wanna pay for it, this is what you need to do to make it happen. Um, more fun stuff, expectations of leaders. Once you start growing a team, this is what is expected of you. We have a leadership squad and these were the qualifications that we came up with last October. Some of these are still, you know, subject to change because um, our team is constantly evolving. So I want to make sure that we're including people who are kicking butt and taking names. And then this is my happy place, the important dates section. So please, 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 Write all of this down in your calendars. I will never be okay hearing the excuse, well, I didn't know that. I didn't, oh, I, I, I already planned a party around that date because all these dates are listed out for you, January 1. Um, so I put as many corporate dates in there as I possibly can, but we as a team have decided that the second Monday and the third Sunday are our team days. So you can just basically count the second Monday of the month, we have a team meeting. The third Sunday of the month, we have a date night, an incentive, or a boot camp. So you can just go ahead and plan on that to always be the truth for the remainder of the year. And then um, towards the end of the year, we'll sit down and we'll collect some feedback from you and see if we still want to go forward with that schedule for 2017. Do, do, do. And then there's some conference calls. So that is our team handbook. Please make sure you read that when you are able. Um, 
and keep it close to you because you never know when you're going to need to reference it. All right, let's talk about the COO. Hopefully everybody is familiar with it. Some people call it the coup, which I think is kind of funny. I've always called it the COO, so I had to figure out what they were talking about when they called it the coup. Let me get this pulled up for you beauties. Do, 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 do. So here we go. On this, I wanted to walk you through, oh my gosh, let me check my cheat sheet. Um, I wanted to walk you through party school, websites, placing orders, print center, activate business. Okay, so we'll just start with the first one. Um, the first one is really you want to update your website. So if you click on my business and my information, if you hop on over here to website, look at that. It'll count how many people came to your website and you can reset the counter anytime. If you decide you don't want a website, then you can check that box, but don't do that because that's how people are going to find you. I want to make sure you're uploading a photo of yourself, something that's professional. Don't be like holding Mr. Dependable like, ah, just because you might run into a couple situations where people have no idea what you look like. So when you show up to their house, you want to look like your picture, all right? So if you um, dye your hair frequently or if you have longer hair and then you cut it, you might wanna make sure there's a current picture of you just because your hostesses wanna know who's showing up at their doorstep. You can list your contact information. Make sure, especially if you updated for a Pure Romance specific email address, you have that. Um, and then down here, I really like where you can kind of customize your own message for your front page of your website, and then you can post announcements. So if you are, if you went to a vendor event and you did a drawing, this is where I post my winners down here on the announcements section. Or if you are, you know, just something, like I have a contest going, mention that you saw this contest on my website and I'm entering you in there. And then you can schedule how long you want it to actually run for. The next thing you should do is order some business cards. So if you go to orders, order from business partners, and hop all over to the print center. Look, that's Felicia Jean, isn't she cute? Uh, if you say click here to start shopping, it'll open up in a new window, and this is where you can design and print your Pure Romance business cards. So as a new consultant, you're going to get 50 blank business cards in your starter kit, and those are fine and dandy. I recommend um, getting some return address size stickers with your contact information and just sticking them on there, because when you handwrite them, it doesn't look so good. Um, but then you can hop on the print setter and order your own fancy schmancy business cards. Um, this is a lady that I met at conference. So that's just what it looks like. It's very professional. It's very sleek. They're really good quality. It's not like flimsy business cards that you're just going to print off from Office Max. Um, so order business cards because you're going to go through them like candy. Those business cards should go home with every customer. They should be in every mailing you do. They should be in goodie bags. They should be everywhere. You can also print labels or order labels here. So if you're like, Megan, how do you put labels on all of the back of your products? Well, you order waterproof labels. <laughs> and then you stick them on the back of all your products. So labels, um, I am almost out of these labels that I ordered from another company before the print center offered them. But my labels literally have my name, my phone number, my email, and my website. Um, just because when you are on the last little squirt of your coochie in the shower, you don't want them running to Walmart and getting up some shave cream. You want them to call you and reorder coochie, right? Because you know exactly what's going to happen when they start shaving with the Walmart stuff. It's going to be terrible. So you can buy all that on y'all. And it's waterproof, and that's a big deal. Having waterproof labels on your wet products is huge. All right, when you go to Training Center, as a new consultant, you're gonna love this tab, because this tab is just for you. This first one, that's where you're gonna live right now, Party School. Party School is online training, it's amazing. You're gonna click there, you're gonna log in using your information, your um, ID number, and your whatever that is, password, the last four of your social, unless you changed it. You're going to log in and you're going to see all the classes that are available to you. Now, when you see mine, you're going to see I have more classes that are available to me than you probably have, but that's because I'm an old crotchety lady. But one of these days, you're going to 
get at my level, and then you're going to have all these classes too. So basically, anytime you promote, new classes on Party School open up. So Brittany, you just promoted. If you haven't checked out the new classes that are available to you, you should definitely do that, and the rest of you should make a goal to promote so you can take some more classes and learn more. And that's, again, they chunk it out so it's stuff that you're going to need for the level that you're at. If you're sitting there like, I finished all my classes, I want more, then you just have to promote. So we'll give it like 20 minutes for this to load. But it's going to tell you some good stuff. And it's probably going to freeze. It's frozen. Do, 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 do. So give me a second. This has been doing this like four times a day. I really want to wait to tax-free weekend in August to buy my new computer five years ago. Oh, here we go. Now I'm watching you guys. It's like a, you know, when like they speed up the video and everyone's like, that's just what you guys all just did. It was crazy. I'm just going to close party school because it's just making me angry now. So screw that. Bye party school. Thanks for sticking with me, crazy ladies. So when you go here to place order, send a good vibes and pray it doesn't freeze. Um, you can search by category, or you can go into the catalog, or you can just be like, I need to order a Gucci. Oh my God, I can't spell. Gucci. What? They do have exotic escape. How much is that? Hold on. Wait a minute. Where did they find exotic escape? You guys, this is a big deal. Well, it's a big deal for me because I have people asking about exotic escape all the time. So I'm going to have to make sure I buy that tonight. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's get back on track. This is how you place a bulk order. You can add it to your bag. Um, we'll talk more about how to order smart in a later call, but this is basically how you do it. Um, you can go back and watch the other calls if you're like, I need to know now. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing the COO with you. Come back to me. You guys can see that on your own. So activating your business. If you bought a standard kit, that's still awesome. You need to place a $250 order within your first 60 days. That's going to activate you, and that's going to, no, 10 minutes left, and we still have 50,000 things to talk about. Thanks for freezing, computer. So activate your business as soon as possible. If you're doing those three parties that get you qualified for the Inventory Advantage Program, boom, you activated. Hi. So. Uh, Mission Possible is one of the things that I text you with five, there's like five challenges and if you complete them all and send me pictures or upload pictures to the team page of documentation, you get swag, because you guys know I love giving stuff away. Um, again, Mission Possible is also designed to complement party school and the stuff you're learning about on these webinars. So some of it might be repeat, especially if you've already done them already, or if this is your first phone call, but <laughs> Bye, Jessica. <laughs> Sleep well. If we unmute you and you're snoring, we're going to laugh at you. <laughs> All right. So we talked a little bit about staying a student. So showing up to going up, showing up to go up. Show up. Oh, did I tell you guys? I'm drinking tonight. So happy Sunday. Um, team meetings, corporate trainings, world conference, national training, online trainings, conference calls. Try to get to as many as you possibly can. We know that you guys have lives. That's why we can give you so many different options when it comes to getting your business started. So the webinars are great. I know some people needed more one-on-ones. They needed the Q&A. Party School was answering all their questions. Team meetings are great for one-on-ones if you need to see us face-to-face. -face. Come to a team meeting. We're nice. We don't bite. And sometimes we have one. Corporate trainings are the best because that's when you're going to learn from people who make a ton of money. Um, you can learn from me, but I need to learn from these people who are killing it. So I love corporate training. So the next one's going to be at the end of this month in Charleston. It's going to be one closest to most of us. Then we've got Atlanta in June and Savannah in July. So we will be road tripping and staying in hotels and having girls weekends. And you guys should try to make it. But I know if it doesn't work with your real life, that's cool. But we'd love to have you there. All right. When we did this first round of calls, this was a whole nother call, but people said they needed it at the beginning. So I'm going to run through this real quick in the seven minutes and 40 seconds that we still have. First things that you need to really kind of focus on in setting your business up for success is time management. 
Not everybody loves it, um, but it's a necessary evil, all right? Time management, you have to do it. You are now the owner of a small business, so it's got to be done. And a lot of you guys are balancing kids and jobs and real life, so you have to be able to manage your time. Um, I just lent out to Jessica Dunn my copy of Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy, but I cannot recommend it enough. If you, if you're like jumping in to the self-help book thing, it's not even self-help. It's just life skills. It's called Eat That Frog. It's only about this thick. So it's a quick read. I read it on a plane. Um, you're welcome to borrow my copy when I get it back. But Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. It's also an audio book. You can buy it on Audible um, if that's more your speed. I'm big on touching it once. So like when my order forms come in, like from today's party, I touch it once, I put it away. All right, I'm not gonna touch it and then go back to it and then put it over here and then move it from pile to pile to pile. I'm gonna touch it once and then I'm gonna be done with it. So developing a system is gonna help you be more efficient in your time and make you less crazy. I'm big on checklists. If you've been around me, you know I love spreadsheets and I love checklists because that holds me accountable to make sure I've done everything I need to do so that when I file it, it's done, I never have to see it again. Setting up, um, office hours for your business, especially if you're juggling a job and a family, making sure that you have dedicated office hours where you're going to focus 100% on your pure romance business. You're not going to focus on like checking Facebook and your Instagram. No, you're going to be calling people. You're going to be doing back end paperwork. You're going to be processing orders. Set those times in your calendar and let your family know about it so that when mom closes her office door, it's work time and no one is allowed to disturb her. And if they do, they get a whooping or Benadryl. I don't, I don't really know how kids work, but I hear if you drug them, it's good. As long as you don't get caught, I think. I think that's how that works. I don't know. I have a dog. I just lock her outside sometimes. Can you do that with kids? You can do that with kids. Just put them outside. Put them out. Like, make sure they're in a coat if it's cold out. See, I'm going to be the best mom ever. Um, so set your office hours and stick to them. So if your customers know that your office hours are Saturday mornings and they start calling you or... God bless y'all. If your team members call you at 3 a.m. and that's not your office hours, you do not have to answer your phone. So set your office hours. I have office hours specifically for the team um, for you guys to pepper me with questions. I give you seven hours a week where you can have my undivided attention. Um, you can come to my house. We can go out for coffee. You can hop on these webinars. You can do the team Tuesdays. You can like send me smoke signals. It's whatever you need. You can text me. Those are the seven hours I dedicate to you guys so that we can make sure that we're in contact with each other. When you're in your office hours, concentrate on those income producing activities. Again, not Facebook. Pick up the phone, coach your hostesses, do your party planning, um, get your parties booked, do your recruit interviews. That all needs to happen during your pure romance office time. Ignore your low priority items. Facebook, phone notifications, turn them off. Oh my gosh, turn off your phone notifications. If you get a ding anytime someone likes your picture on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, or if someone sends you a new email, you do not need those on your phone. If you come over to my house and your phone is dinging every 30 seconds, I'm going to throw your phone out the window because my ADD can't handle it. I love you guys and I love your phones. <sighs> but turn off your notifications. You lose seven minutes of your life for every distraction. It takes you seven minutes to come back from whatever distraction that has happened. So every time your phone dings, you're basically not getting anything done. It doesn't matter who likes your photo. So schedule like 15 minute increments. And so that's what I do. I, I set like 15 minutes, four to five times a day where I can check my notifications um, and respond back on and during my office time. If it's like, you know, I'm out and about and I'm running errands. Yeah, I'm going to respond back to you guys because no one's going to get mad at me for checking my notifications at Aldi. But if I'm sitting down to dinner with my husband, I'm not going to look at my phone. If I, um, I'm talking to my hostesses, I'm not going to be responding back to you guys, even though I love you. So label your products and your catalogs and all that when you're watching TV. All right. Don't just sit on TV and let that time go to waste. You can still be working on your business. Um, you can still be like mass texting your team. So. Do your stuff while you're watching TV if it's just like little things. So here's your homework with the three minutes we've got left. And then just link back in for Q&A. So your homework is to turn off your non-essential notifications on your phone. It's hard, but do it. And then if you feel like going the extra distance, 
remove yourself from all those damn spam emails that you're getting because they are terrible. Just, you don't need that. It's a waste of time. You will gain so much more email time back when all those stupid spammy emails are not in your inbox. Establish your office hours for the business side of pure romance. Set your dates if you haven't already for your pop the box and your two launch parties. Chart your available party dates for the next two months. So if you have a planner, awesome. I'm a big fan of my Google Calendar and then I just print it out on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And then I highlight the days that I can do my party. So print out your party dates for the next two months. So you should be doing that anywhere right now because we're in the booking blitz and we can open those up through June. If you're planning parties past June, those have, um, they're much less likely to hold. So don't worry about these people who are like, what do you have in August? Uh-uh, I'm focused on June. It's June or never, all right? Create a business email account if you haven't already. PR by Brittany, PR by Megan, PR by Christy, whatever your name's gonna be at Yahoo or at Gmail. I love Gmail. Um, but something that's legit, don't do it at like Netscape. Don't do it at AOL.com. Do it on Gmail or Yahoo. Um, something that's appropriate, nothing that's like raunchy like, dildos by Debbie. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's not what we do. If you haven't already, you should really look into opening a small business checking account with your bank. Talk to them, um, figure out what kind of offers they have for you, but I want you to really get in the habit of keeping your pure romance money separate from your regular money. Um, you can pay yourself, obviously, that's what we're all about. Pay yourself, but keep the money separate for auditing. Begin party school and begin your mission impossible. That's all your homework, you got a lot of homework. But don't worry, because you don't have to do it all by next week. So with that, we're about to get cut off. But I'll see you guys back on this link for a Q&A in just a couple minutes. Bye!